Hello, I'm Josh Whittacombe. My name is James A. Caster. And uh, so, shall I read what's on this, uh, this uh, Dave branded uh, tablet? Yes, a lot of stuff has been happening behind our backs, apparently. Uh, without our knowledge, our series of guests have been answering hypothetical questions about us. What? Backstage. Not cool. No. We'll see what they have to say. Yeah, but my contract clearly states no questions behind my back. Well, I've got bad news. Guz Khan, Rich Dewadi, Maisie Adam and Chloe Petz were asked, the, the Dave Channel executives considering renaming Dave to either James or Josh. Right, ready? Shall we see what Guz Khan's got to say? Uh, well, I hope, I hope Guz Khan chooses James. Is it just called Dave? Yeah. I wouldn't change the name, to be honest with you. He didn't know it was just called Dave. What did you think it was called? Like, David Attenborough. Yeah, like... Josh and James sound like librarians and ain't no one want to tune into a television channel that sounds like it's about librarians. Fuck all that. Stick to Dave is what I say. What? Josh and James. Now, I'm not big up your parents, but they're dead. Big up your parents. Big up your parents. Yeah. Whatever, Try and get right? in their good books. Yeah. With he the knows one... your dad. He d yeah, he does. He, he's, he's, That's he's... why he panicked. And what's James' dad's name? Dave. Dave. There, there we go. go. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Chloe Pets? Yeah. Oh, it's difficult to know. I, I'm, I'm wondering whether to think of it from a financial level. Who brings in more money for Dave, James or Josh? Probably. Oh, I don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah. It's James. just James, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, so I think that would be an easier sell. Yeah, but yeah, easy. I think Josh. Well, it can't be Josh. He's already had a sitcom by that name. It's James. I stick with it. That's my answer. Oh, well, can't piss off. Piss off. Piss off. No, she's done, she's done well there with the sitcom. Yeah. She, she swerved one there by saying, because you have a sitcom called Josh, it'd be confusing if the channel was called Josh. It's the ultimate way to answer a question you don't want to answer, isn't it? Yeah. Come up with a spurious reason not to give a proper answer. Yeah, yeah. And she's done it perfectly. But really, James, because... Yeah, she wants it to be called James. She thinks that's the best name. Josh, uh, it's the first name that you said, which means that I can um, end this exchange sooner. Also, you can use the same kerning that we all know and love from the original iteration of Dave, which is a, uh, it's a love letter to typography. No idea what he's talking about. Ne never, never do, rarely know what he's on about. I'd go with James, I'd go with James. I just think Josh sounds, I, I hear Josh and I hear a guy that is like gonna break my heart, basically. There's a lot of people my age called Josh. They speed in their little Vauxhall courses. Um, they're usually West Ham fans and they're not generally nice people. I think I'm gonna get cancelled for saying that. Is this gonna go on social media? Of course it is. I've just invited a big wrath of Josh bro energy. But both are really probably great guys with really good relationships with their mums. Why are they obsessed with our parents? Yeah, they're all obsessed with our parents. And also, do you know what? I was gonna, you know, there's various points there where I, I was gonna make fun of Maisie. And then by the end you go, she's, she's stressed herself out. Yeah. She it's looks like someone who's trying to get away from a charity collector on the street. <laughs> You're in court for treason. Who would you pick as your lawyer and why? Is this between uh, us again? It's gotta be between us, isn't it? I would sooner defend myself. Uh, oh. And I'd sooner defend myself while draped in a blood-soaked flag. I mean, I mean, I'd sooner defend myself while draped in a blood-soaked flag, tearing up a picture of the Queen. That would, that's how little faith I would have that either of them would get me off a charge of treason. Possibly James, cause they wouldn't really know what he was, you know, what point he was making for large tracts of it. And that just might drag the thing out and so I could tunnel my way out. So yeah, James, just to distract them. And then I'll make my own escape. I get the feeling Dara, whatever situation would defend himself in court. Yeah, yeah, no matter yeah. what legal team offered to defend him. No, yeah. no, no, I've got this. Yeah, I can do this. Uh, but he uh, chose me. He did, reluctantly, as a distraction technique. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Kim Kardashian's dad. Yeah. <laughs> out of Josh or James? Oh, out of Josh and James. Um, Kim Kardashian's dad? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't blame her. Who, 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 out of, who out of us is more like Kim Kardashian's dad? Uh, what, Robert Kardashian? Robert Kardashian. Um, well, he's quite... I don't know anything about him. I'm more thinking about David Schwimmer. Yeah, David Schwimmer's quite tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be David Schwimmer. I'll be Kim Kardashian's dad. 
I would pick Josh because Josh yeah. looks like a lawyer and James doesn't and he looks like a lawyer because he wears a jacket and he's got that hair that sticks out all over the place that could really do with a hairdresser but that's nothing to be discussed and he just looks like he knows words like arbitrary and vanquished and your honour and in court and <laughs> other courtly words like vanquished himbadana himbadana <laughs> I don't know what himbadala means, I love when, it. When are you using vanquished in court? Josh would have That's like more nights than the round table, isn't it? My client could not have vanquished anybody that night. They were they were at the Too busy at the Himbadana. Himbadana Hotel. I think I would pick James just because he has the vibe of uh, a small town lawyer who wants to make the big time. You know, he's got that kind of, he's got the kind of prowl. I reckon he could sort of really make the most of the space of a courtroom. You know, he really expands himself like a peacock. Um, so I think I would go, I think I'd go with James. Yeah, but it's not an easy choice. Ideally, I'd have Josh as judge. You must live the life of Josh or James for one year. Who do you pick and why? Darren Harriet, Bill Bailey, Joe Brand, Harriet Kemsley. I think- They're okay, all gonna go with you. Oh. That's a very good question. I have to live the life of Joshua or James for one year. I'd probably go with, I might go with James, actually. Yeah, um, I've recently got into wearing corduroy, so I think, I'd, I'd go James. It's a good reason, I've never seen you with corduroy on. It's not Darren, a reason Darren's to live enjoying it. He's recently he, got into wearing corduroy. He's enjoying the Roy. He wants to, he wants to keep on going with it. He he's was, not even wearing it there. Well, you can't see below the waist. I think I would pick Josh, uh, because we have friends in common, so I could still see some nice friendly people. I don't know who James's friends are. Probably the Duchess of York and the Pope. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> D didn't know Joe Brand saw me that way. I've got to let Joe Brand know. Fergie and the Pope. Yeah, I've got to let Joe Brand know I'm not as posh as she thinks I am. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that one's annoyed me. Yeah. Uh, James because uh, he seems like he's a bit of a better dresser. What? Oh, yes. And also, Josh has got this weird tattoo on his foot. Oh, I don't want to, don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Much more the energy we expected from Joe. Yeah. Really. But there you go, he doesn't like your no, tattoo on your foot. Never discussed it with him. But uh, I'm a better dresser. James, because I just feel like, Ooh. what is going on? Oh, what? Like, what, what is happening? Like, I just feel like, He'd wake up every morning and then walk into a cupboard. I don't know. I just think it would be funny to be James. Maybe I would walk into a cupboard. Yeah, maybe in... I should start doing that. I've not done it before. She means that you've got a walk-in wardrobe. That's what she means. <laughs> she thinks that I'm like, like, like Sex in the City. Yeah. Maybe. Would you rather have James or Josh as a sat-nav voice? They're all going to go with you. Well, I don't know. Your voice is iconic. People love it. I think it would be a... I, I'd be a nicer companion for a journey. Oh, I don't know. Well, shall we see? Yeah. Um, I'd probably use my wife's voice. Yeah. Because um, we always row about directions in the car and I get upset by that and because uh, I'm quite sensitive. And if it was on uh, the sat-nav, I wouldn't take it so personally. I'd just think, well, it's just a, it's just a stupid machine, you know. I'm going to smash it up later. Misunderstood the question. Misunderstood it completely. He he heard Josh and Jane, right? <laughs> he must have. That's what he heard. Literally. Do you want Josh or Jane? Oh, I have my wife Jane. Jane, I love her. You know what, bro? Again, not to cuss you out, boys. I've got a lot of love for you, but I'm be honest. Oh, you don't. Like two, I do two-hour journeys. I travel from the West Midlands to get here. I don't want to hear none of them saying, oh, "Go left, oh, go right." I'm not into that, bro. Stick to the standard. Tom Tom Gyal, whatever her name is. He's rude. Yeah. He's rude. We had him on, on our show. Um, he got paid for it and he was rude to us. Yeah. That's how it feels. It's rare that he mentions he's from the West Midlands, isn't it? So that's, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's nice to get that in there, yes. Uh, I'll choose oh. Josh because he's got a better voice than James. What? Yes. Do with that, Acaster. Because I'd like to have someone go, oh, turn left, or oh, now turn right, or oh, now turn left, oh, I don't feel very well. He's a very dear friend. 
Very rare that sat nav says I don't feel very well, isn't it? But yeah, but that's the impression of me. And she spent a lot of time with you on the road. Yeah, I've been in a lot of cars with you. And apparently, mainly what you say is I don't feel very well. I've never said that in my life as well. I said it earlier to me today. Um, sorry to say, it is going to have to be James. Um, Josh, I love you, but I can't risk falling asleep at the wheel. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's incredible. Should we fall asleep at the wheel to your voice? What was that soothing? Mean? I could soothe anyone to sleep, even on the M25, where you can bloody fall asleep with the traffic on the M25. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand still. Yeah, yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> right, Joshua James must attend all your social events for the rest of your life. Oh. I'll be annoyed if I don't get this. I'm gonna pick Josh because he's smaller and if there was need for some sort of violent removal from a room or any kind of event, I think I could handle him better. I don't know. Um, James well enough to know what he's got in his toolkit, um, violence-wise. So yeah, uh, it's Josh. Interesting, where, we, where some people's minds go. Yeah, it goes um, straight into a violent confrontation. Yeah, straight away, who could I beat up? I think on the grounds then that I never have parties and I don't arrange social events, it comes down to Christmas and I know that Josh is a vegetarian. I don't think James is. So I'm going to pick Josh because I don't want James to be a dick about not having turkey at Christmas. And I think he would be. I would be a dick about it. Yeah, of course you would. You've got around to rights there. Yeah. Being a dick about food, that's your absolute... It's my bread and butter. Yeah. I'll, I'll be a dick about bread and butter as well if I want it. <laughs> Josh, because he's shorter than me, uh, so therefore I'll always have, like when I get a bit tired at all these social events, I've always got someone to lean on. Something to lean on. So, so far it's three of them and they've all picked you, but yeah. it's... Cause Hollow could, victories. Because they could beat you up because you're a vegetarian yeah. and because they can lean on you, so... All of them kind of interlinked. Yeah. I picked James because Josh and James are both different, but James it's easier to bully. So easy. Sometimes with Josh, he fights back and they got to knock him back down. But James, piece of cake. Everywhere we go, I could be like, James, Get me that, do that, get me a coffee, wipe my bum, and he would just go, okay, okay, uh, easy. You get a massive tattoo of either James or Josh's face on your back. Who do you pick and why? This will be interesting. I think, here's my predictions. Judy Love picks me, Josh Pugh picks you, Gled Hill picks me, Tarbuck picks you. I think okay. it's going to be 50 50. Okay. Ooh, that's a hard one. I think I will pick James because I think Josh would be more traumatised. I think James could handle that quirkiness. quirkiness. Personally, I think James wants to be on my back. There yeah, we go. that's what Always I wanted to hear. Always an innuendo. That's what I wanted to hear. Always Judy. an innuendo. That's why we put you. Josh. Yes. I'm, I'm nailing it. I will pick Josh because it'd be easy to colour in, work in progress, and I like strawberry blonde and, and rosy in. cheeks. And I could put a nice, progress. we were just having the top bit of his outfit showing. I'd make it something complimentary. I'd be very happy in bikini in that. <laughs> Great face from Tarba. Great at the face end. at the end. But you're a work in progress, according to that. I don't know what that means. I've already got one. <laughs> no, imagine. Um, I'd go for Josh. Oh because I think his face is more like a puppy, like a little squishy little pug puppy face. Squishy. And I'd get his face and then uh, the, the body of a puppy. Is that weird? Yes. <laughs> Not weird? No, I get where she's coming from. Squishy. Squishy face. Squishy little face, like a stress ball. <laughs> I'm going for James. Oh. I think he's got a more, a longer face. Yep. which would go with my build. I think if I have Josh on there, I'm not 
broad enough to really pull that off. Wow. So I'm What's going James. My big fat squidgy face. What's going on there? Yeah, the complex when we go home. Yeah. Oh, big wide face. If I can fit out the door. Next time you see Josh Pugh, you've got to go behind him and just press your face against his back and go, too <laughs> wide for it, is it? It's. How, how wide do you think my face is, Josh? <laughs> Not wider than someone's back. <laughs> Would you rather fight a hundred tiny Jameses or one gigantic Josh? This is going to be interesting. I think, no disrespect to Josh, I mean, neither of them look like fighting men. Yeah. But Josh talk. looks like a man who not only doesn't fight, but I think his hobby is cowering. So I think even a giant Josh would probably, even if he was enormous, I think he would go, oh, like that. So I would fight the big in. Didn't even need to do the impression. Very good impression though. Yeah. I mean, look, we've, we, we've talked before about who would win in a fight between the two of us. Apparently on your podcast, you and Rob Beckett discussed if you could beat up me and Ed. Yeah, stand by it. But, but who did you, you, you concluded that we would beat you up? Right? Yeah, I think so. You're both quite fit. I think well, the Jameses are wiry and a hundred of them, they're gonna, they're gonna hunt you down, and they're gonna work as a pack. I don't. I wouldn't. One giant Josh. Because I think even a giant Josh isn't very big, is it? Giant Josh, just normal size man. No. This is great. Everyone is going with the yeah, giant Josh because really you're is. so non-threatening that they're like they're even, all of them. Even Angela Barnes isn't scared of me. All of if them. If I'm giant. <laughs> they're not even thinking about no. it. No. It's straight away. I would rather fight 100 tiny Jameses. Oh, how tiny are we talking, like 30 centimetres or shorter? Oh, tiny? Oh, that's a foot job. That's just smashing them with your foot. Easy. So Neil's not thought about that. Everyone no. else has, has oh, predicted I'm wiry and it's going to be really, oh, really dangerous. So would you rather fight 100 tiny Jameses or one gigantic Josh? I'll take them all on. Good day. <laughs> You're lost in a forest, it's cold and getting dark. Who do you want with you to navigate your way out and why? My instinct is that Josh would be the better navigator. I don't know why, it literally so might just be because he wears glasses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, is that too, he just immediately looks to me like an intellectual. So I reckon he'd be the one to find the Thank way out. Sorry that I don't wear glasses, but clearly. Are you any good on Only Connect? I find no. it fucking impossible. Absolutely impossible, everyone does. This is a hard one because they're both as useless yep. as each yep. other. Yeah. Both of them at some point would break down, burst out crying and poo themselves. What? That wasn't, that so wasn't we've, we've, yeah. we've either, I'd be doing the heavy lift but may, maybe Josh, because he got kids, so look, hopefully he'll have a few snacks in his pocket, maybe nice. some chocolate yeah. buttons to yeah. keep me really going. Well, not, not as vicious as we thought no, it was going to be, nice but still. as he's ever been. Still not nice, did we poo ourselves? Josh, because I feel like he has prior experience with these things. He, he, he seems like, as a kid, like he was probably that kid that did get lost, you know, like one of those missing kids um, who, got, who just got lost in the woods. So I feel like he, he, he would know what to do, do you know what I mean? He'd know who to call. He's probably got like, he's one of those kind of anal people. He's probably got like a pack like a lost in the woods pack as well, so he's probably got you know some provisions. Um, so I feel like Josh would be uh, would be the, the ideal person. Yeah, see, I keep getting like disappointed that I'm not the one who's got chosen, but then they just go on to slag you off. And yeah, make basically, the, most of the questions are who would you like to slag off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, choose who Josh. do you feel more comfortable slagging off? Yeah, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I would want Josh um, because. Still. I think he'd be good at fitting through small spaces yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Titch. Um, yeah. Titch. James is too long, basically. Too yeah. long, so yeah, too long. Visible. I've always said um, you're too long. I think long. that if, yeah. you, if we were lost, we wouldn't want to be visible in case there were like wolves or like weirdos in the forest. So I'd stick with Josh and I'd get him to wolves. go I'll through go tiny holes like a little Josh mouse. And then I'd follow when he knew that the coast was clear. 
You're too long. There you go. I'm too long, but you're better than being a tetch. Little pipsqueak. <laughs>